All right, so today we're gonna be game plan. Cradle is going back in the car. So, but before I can do that, we're gonna have to add another. I need to drill a hole here and bolt it through, and then I'm gonna try and cut up like a little spacer that's gonna go on the underside, so that way we don't be pulling these bolts through the cradle. And then on this one, I've got to weld up a bracket of some sort, or like basically it's gotta come down. This side and then the other side and then we're gonna drill a hole through the and put a bolt through that as well so that's all I got that's what we gotta get done I'm not excited at right. least for that part and then uh, almost stock here subscribe to him he hit a hundred uh, subscribers so go over there and comment congratulations <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, yeah that's all I've got for right now I've yeah, pretty much all I got. Let's do this. All right, so got that. So there's a plate underneath. You can see it right here. Um, so basically, it goes from here. If I can aim my camera, it goes from here to like up to here. And these two bolts go through it. And then this bolt, this bolt just kind of holds the plate up there. So that way, this is my like makes my life easier. This one's bolted in. Steve let me down. Didn't find a bolt or a nut. I mean, oh, two bolts. I didn't yeah. find any nuts. He's freaking 2019ing me. Found me two bolts. That's <laughs> not how this works. So that one's done. Is is gonna be? I'm gonna have to obviously run and get hardware anyhow because we're gonna need a bolt that goes through this frame rail. So yeah, that's the plan now. So let's do that. All right. So that one's done. This one's done. Just weld the plate on there. Don't even feel like cleaning it up because that's the kind of day I'm having. So we're gonna have to pick up some bolts. It's only the one side because if I would have done both, I wanted to do both, but if I would have done both, uh, it would have been uh, a pain in the ass to get on if I could even get it on. So that's good enough. And we're just going to put washers on the other side or if I somehow magically become motivated, we'll make a plate for the other side. But uh, yeah, and then so there's two. There's a bolt there and a bolt there. Should do until it don't. And then it's too late. Then we need a new cradle. And this cradle's toast. Um, I know I plan to do solid mount cradle bushings, but that's not going to be happening before it goes back in because it's going in right now. So let's get this thing back in its fucking home. Is that okay with you? Steve? It's absolutely okay. Okay. Ta -da! We're not done yet, but we're there. Um, just ignore the toe strap. That had nothing to do with piss poor planning. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the struts in. And then I'm going to probably put the tires on. I want to put it on the ground. There goes your alignment. Because I want to know whether our axles and all that shit's good. So that's the plan. So let's go ahead and do that. Ta-da! JK. It's on the ground now. Uh, brakes are back on. They're kind of torqued down. Should be good to go. Um, axles look like they're going to be good, so all we can do is hope for the best. Um, yeah, not much more I can say here. I'm going to get the clutch line. i got to pull the intercooler off because it's all up in my face, which sucks. But, yeah, because the throttle cable is going to be on this side now, so that's gee. I really hope that it reaches. <sighs> that would be the worst. So, yeah, let's uh, take the intercooler out of my face and... Kind of figure out some other little things now. All right, so we got to run to Home Depot, pick up uh, some of these, and uh, yeah. And then so these long ones, I'm going to get some of the same size of these, just uh, like an inch longer. And then this one, I just need a nut for. Um, and then I haven't really accomplished anything else. It's been a couple of hours, but I welded up the exhaust for Steve's uh, SRT4 swap Mazda B2200, I believe it is. And then also his transmission mount, so that's good. Now we're going to run Home Depot, get that, get some food. Should be a good time. All right, so kind of the turbo placement. I kind of jacked it up when I took this guy off. We've been dicking around with all sorts of shit. We tucked the intercooler way down in there. That's not where it's going. It's probably going to go here. No idea what I'm going to do about the intake. I wanted to run that, but I don't know if I'm going to. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Because the hard part is routing shit. I mean, yeah. 
Not sure yet. Main thing is we gotta get this turbo shit done. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, watch me cut up $200. So let's do that. Okay, so we did some stuff. Uh, so turbo is, one manifold is done. Uh, we still need to do the crossover to the rear one. I'm not gonna do that yet. Uh, we're kind of just trying to dick around and figure out the uh, intercooler. It's looking like he's gonna land right here. He's trying to fuck, he's trying to talk shit about the M90 block off so plate. Ugly. No, the ugly part is this gay ass throttle body, but I'm too poor for a fucking uh, North Star you're, one. You're not, you're, you're, not, you're not even showing them what you're doing. Really I am. You're, you're, this thing is really wide. It is really wide. Yeah. What kind of phone is that? S10 Plus. Or not Plus, but it's an S10. They have a wide camera. I can show you soon. But yeah, so there's that. Um, we need more lines, so I got to crawl underneath there and cut all my zip ties and yank back as much line as we can get. Yes. So. Give me the cutter. Ta da! Okay, so. This is where the intercooler is going to go. Um, it should work out pretty good. I need to modify this guy a little bit. Obviously, that's still something that needs to get done. Uh, once I wrap the back manifold, and then I'll start on the crossover, and then that'll be done. Then all we have to do is brace it from our old bracing spot down to the head. Um, keeping in mind that I want to do a double dog bone. Uh, my dog bone is going to consist of like some triangles that come up here with a solid heim, heim joint. And then I'm just going to have basically a bracket of that nature right here. I'll cut off that one because we don't need that one no more. And uh, yeah, that's kind of my my plan. Um, I plan to run a filter like this. Steve says no, but I want a giant limp whale dick that goes right up here, up, and then comes around. And this filter would be sitting like this. So it's kind of something I want to do. But we'll see, especially considering this side is going to be very busy. But that's just the way it's going to have to be because America. And then we had this big room over here and we we're like, ah, I finally figured out what I can put in that big old hole right there. Right there. I just want you to envision a nitrous bottle. Like, a bottle. Well, it's, I'm hoping for a bigger bottle than that. Yeah. Not a sneaky Pete. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Maybe put a little Zex bottle there or something. That'd be dope. Even though you know I'm going to paint that bitch. Yeah, that's pretty, that'd probably be pretty similar. Oh, yeah, dude. You can fit like a, one of those like what, yeah, the five pound bottles. A in there. Oh, yeah. We're in. Bet. That'd be sick. I wonder if there's any. I have to look at the regulations, though, about having your nitrous there. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what there's rules. You might have. I might have to put like a piece of metal or something. Yeah. Either way, that's kind of the plan maybe for right there, I'm thinking. I don't know if it matters. you got people at tracks heating their bottles with torches, so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think we'll put nitrous there. At some point, that's not going to be particularly in the next, like, we'll say two years. Maybe three. We'll see. It all depends. We never know what's going to actually happen. This was not supposed to happen, and look what happened. Yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of where we're sitting at. Turbo is going to be pretty neat. I'm um, probably going to end up clocking it down and then figuring out some shenanigans to get it there. I do like it. Even though it might have to come this way and I might have to do some serious pie cuttage. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it should be pretty neat. Um, I mean, it's not as flashy as what was up there. But the good news is with it being down here, we're going to be putting my louvers back on. So, but we're going to actually like remake them again. So that's going to be sweet. I'm excited for that because I missed my louvers, actually. But, yeah, other than that, that's all I really got for you guys. So, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.